friends, it's Pajama Mama here coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul and I'm very excited to show you some of the things that I found this week. And let's get started. This is one of my favorite new finds. It is a headband. It's sort of a beige gold color with a cute little bow. It has a nice um, stretchy elastic band. They also had a charcoal one and I already have worn it. <laughs> I used it um, and it stayed in my hair very well. And speaking of hair, we have the Soft Whisper brand of um, Pantene. It, it's a knockoff and it is 15 fluid ounces. It's a two-in-one. We've also tried the damage repair formula and it works very well. So I'm thankful to have found that because it's a really good deal for a dollar. Um, one more feminine item here is the Femtex and these are an eight count. They're a little long, but they're comfortable for me. They are super absorbent and I do like them. I highly recommend them. Um, give them a try, see what you think. Um, a household product, here's a Renews It. This is after the rain. Um, I'm curious to see how this will be. Um, I wanna show you, I have the pine one from back at Christmas time. This is what's left. This particular one, the fragrance lasted for a month. I really like the pine. I did not care for the gingerbread one very much. The scent only lasted about a week. So, um, you know, I don't know why some of them, the fragrances last longer than others, but I'm hoping this new After the Rain will be good. Here's my next product. This is the Assured Brand Wipes. And um, I do like these. It's 75 for a dollar. That's really the reason I buy them. They do disinfect um, fairly well. And um, they're, they're pretty durable. I have one here to show you, um, if you can see that. They hold together well. There's not a lot of moisture in them, but it's just for hand sanitizing anyway. I keep them in the car. Um, I also wanted to show you another product that I like that um, these are the travel wipes. They are um, in a three pack for your purse. I really appreciate having that convenience. Um, they work well for, um, you know, just messy hands. So I highly recommend those too. I have even little empties here and um, the, the packaging was excellent. I uh, have repurchased these a number of times. They're good for, um, once again, cold and flu season. We're all trying to stay well. This I do not recommend. This is also the Assured brand. This, um, I've had to keep it in a gallon bag because the, the packaging just ripped open whenever I went to, to um, peel this up. And this is the second pack for me that has done that. It's actually a bigger wipe and a softer wipe. It's a 40 count, but I don't recommend those. I mean, it's up to you if you want to try it, but the other two I do like. Um, I also found uh, a new Breezy. And if you haven't tried Breezy, I say give it a try because it's really, um, it's a nice fragrance. It doesn't really linger on your clothes very much, but this is Floral Bouquet. This is um, a 55 count and it, it reduces the static, which is the main reason that I use dryer sheets and it does do that very well. I just had finished up the fresh linen, which has a nice fragrance. The floral bouquet didn't have um, too much of a floral scent, but I did like it. And this is um, a used one that came out of my dryer. This is what's what remains. And you know, none of us have had any problem with the fragrance on those, um, so I recommend them. Um, I also got a few food items. We have the Sweethearts. Um, these are the traditional ones. It's a four pack, and I got those for a Valentine's party for my girls. And um, this was 25 cents. It was um, because it's peppermint. I guess it was in the Christmas clearance, so we like that. Uh, good price. And... I don't know, other people have been hauling these, the Jello Creations. This is the Dirt, Oreo Dirt uh, Cups is what they call it. And I think that's a good buy for a dollar. We had the S'mores one, I think, um, in the fall, and they were okay. But um, my son wanted those for Valentine's Day, so that's what he's getting. Uh, a few other random items here to share with you. 
Um, this is something I saw somebody else hauling. It's a dry erase board for handwriting and it's a blank on the other side. So that's for my five-year-old. She needs some practice and she told me she would use it. So I hope so. Um, this is just a, a set of screwdrivers. I already have um, purchased a set of these. I think my husband has them, but I just wanted a set for my own for a dollar. They work. They're both flathead and um, Phillips screwdrivers and they, they work. It's just for all those little toys and things to replace. This is something I'm always thrilled to find. My Dollar Tree doesn't normally carry these. It's just one of those hit or miss items. But if you see this, I would pick them up. It's a six pack. It is 600 inches of tape. They're not quite as good as say like a, a Scotch brand, but I did get the dispenser to go with it, the Jot dispenser, and highly recommend that combination. It's saving me a lot of money on tape. I used it at Christmas time. It worked great. I got another Jot organizer. These are for um, my own um, office supplies just so I can have my own kit. And one of the first things I'm going to put in is these high voltage paper clips. I don't know if you could see them. Be careful when um, you're checking out. Uh, they could just spill right out of that. They, they did as I was checking them out. So um, anyway, that was 250 paper clips and I use them as bookmarks and I use them for a number of things uh, in homeschooling my girls. And just a few more things here. Um, this is also for the Valentine's Day party. My girls picked this out. It's just little heart notepads in the Valentine's section. Uh, for those of you who've watched my Candle Empties review, you'll, you'll see that I'm uh, trying out another one. Um, this is Crackling Fire. It's an old Williamsboro brand. It's the Woodcraft, and it has the um, Crackle Wick, which I do really like. Um, I've never tried that fragrance, but I'm curious to see, and I'll have to let you know how it goes. Um, one more little mini review is the Almay Smart Shades. And I have already been using this for a week. My Dollar Tree had them a little while ago. And um, I want to show you, here's the brush um, that clips inside. There's the mirror. And um, one thing I want to mention is I don't have really fair skin. Um, I usually wear a beige of some kind when it comes to cosmetics. But this actually has um, the white shade in it. I just use the more um, beige and brown side, and I really like it. it. It sets my foundation, it reduces shine and oiliness, it, um, it smooths out my skin, it reduces pores, so I recommend that. I was very happy to find it. After I bought one, I went back and bought a couple more because I know, you know, they're already gone. I mean, I'm, my Dollar Tree never got the blushes that other people are hauling. Um, so this is just one more thing here. Um, the girls got to go on a shopping spree. Granny and Papa sent them um, a little bit of money and they just went throughout the store uh, getting some things that they wanted. So that was fun for them. I'll just show you those really quickly. But I wanted to mention the little flyer. I know um, not everybody uh, picks one of these up, but I do recommend grabbing it and just zooming through it very quickly because Sometimes there will be something in the flyer that hasn't arrived at the store yet or something that is in the store that you walk past, you didn't see it. Um, whenever I get home from the Dollar Tree, I do look that over because occasionally I'll find something that I want or I've been looking for and I know that either the store already has it right now or they're going to get it. So it's just a, uh, a way of keeping on top of things. Um, okay, so they got balloons and they had fun running around the house with those. They got, these are Mardi Gras masks. Um, they've already opened it. This is a, um, a ribbon though, um, to tie that on. It's not elastic. Um, so we got the, we had to play dress up with these and that was cute. Um, they have a number of different pretty masks and they had fun with that. Um, let's see. This is for the Barbie house. It's a little bear light. My girls think outside the box. We went into the kitchen section. They bought the little coasters because it's a four pack and these look like rugs. These are gonna be Barbie rugs. <laughs> so it made me laugh. They each wanted one of the snowball makers. 
Um, we haven't had snow yet here in Pennsylvania, which is a bizarre thing. Um, so, but it will happen, trust me, and we will be prepared. But one thing I wanted to mention is I took a look at those little, um, the little sleds, um, the red ones that other people are hauling, and you know, they just look really flimsy. And we had a better quality one last year, and it broke on the first use. Our store has a, a number of different really good um, outdoor balls. Um, and obviously, with every everything being a dollar, it, it's just a super good deal, especially even compared to some of the other stores. They each got one of these. They liked them. They were tiny, and they were clear. They were not, the little ponies were not what I was expecting. Okay, um, our Dollar Tree had a display of um, Bible figurines. These are Bible toys, and um, my one of my daughters wanted the Jesus one. But I think they had like four or five characters. They also had the little um, Thomas um, surprise packs. And if I knew any little boys that um, I needed gifts for, I would I would have snatched those up. But they did say ages three and up, which I thought was strange because usually Thomas. I don't know. When I think of Thomas, I think of like toddlers and things. So, um, let's see what else here. We're getting close to the bottom really quickly here. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, I just love the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Saved so much money that way. This is a little set of bath mitts for um, a friend who has an infant. And these are uh, fish, shark, ducky, and froggy. Um, she's going to use them for puppets, though, rather than um, for, you know, bathing. But you could use them for bathing. And last but not least, we have, this was a kit that I got from um, my daughters. Uh, one was the kitty one, one is the panda one, and it is a tissue paper craft. And I want to show you how it turned out. This My seven-year-old worked on this one. I thought it was really cute and you know what because it's been so cold they've been cooped up indoors and just I need things for them to do um, this kept them really busy we actually bought the tissue paper pack from the Dollar Tree to go with it because we needed the black for the ears it took them a number of days um, you know obviously um, just to, to put that together but they really enjoyed it the craft turned out cute so if you have some, some kiddos that need something to do, I recommend that craft. That was a, a dollar well spent, in my opinion. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like this, subscribe, and I do thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm looking forward to bringing you more Dollar Tree hauls and reviews. And I hope you're all doing well and being blessed. You take care.